What's going on guys? My name is Jason. You can call me Yay. Welcome to my channel if you're new and if you can follow my journey with Full Metal Alchemist, welcome back. So we're heading over to episode 27 and I'm so sorry guys. I apologize. I'm like the worst Full Metal Alchemist fan ever because I totally forgot that Al's eyes were like that goldish yellowish color. I thought they were blue for some freaking reason. So yeah, <laughs> I feel so stupid for not recognizing um, Al in the last episode, but oh my gosh, that was so heartbreaking. And oh my gosh, you got to freaking see Al. I mean, it's still the same day for me, so I'm still having that hype of the last episode. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, I can't even think straight. All I can think about is freaking Al. Freaking Ed saw Al in that portal place. It's freaking amazing. Like there's there's hope. There's hope that Ed can bring Al back because it was always just the, oh my gosh, is it possible? Can you really pull it off? And now we know that yes, like it can happen. So when is it going to happen? Oh my God, that was so heartbreaking, but I'm just ready to hop right into it. But before we do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and hit that bell notification so you know when I post new videos. Now let's hop right into it. Oh, this has to be a flashback. You look down. Panaco. Panaco. Drink up. How the hell is that Panaco? It's unhealthy to drink alone. Panaco. That's um Winry's grandmother, right? Is this like a flashback? Flashback. Wait, <laughs> she looks so different. People have to enjoy themselves when they can, especially in this country. Look at him smiling, it's so weird. This conflict in Ishval, it's just one after another, we're always at war. And no matter how many times it happens, they never learn. The human race is made up of violent, miserable fools. <laughs> been a real hotbed, huh? I'm afraid it's not just the yes. East. There have been reports of uprisings in the North and West as well. The bodies are piling up all over. The government's gonna have a hard time keeping control at this rate. Things began to move more toward the militaristic when the current Fuhrer, King Bradley, first came into power. Hey! Dance with me! Well, aren't you the ladies' man, Hohenheim? I don't dance. I'll just sit here and watch you. But that's no fun. Come dance with me. Look at this codger. He'll break his hip if he tries dancing with you. <laughs> there. Why didn't you go dance with those kids? I mean, it kind of sounds like her if that makes any sense. But definitely does not look like her at all. Weren't your two boys around her age when they started planning to bring back their mom? I'm so flippin' confused. This one character is throwing me off. Why didn't you say anything to them? Because it would have been pointless to do so. Nothing can change the reality of what they've done. They'd still be damned. That's a little harsh. Their sin is still a sin. But you're their father. Just give it back! He's my little brother! He's all I have left! Man, that scene will always be heartbreaking. Destroyed the city of Xerxes in one night. If we could just get our hands on it somehow, I might be able to get your body back. Doctor, what exactly was it you were ordered to do research on? What thing? The Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I'm so confused. I mean, to people who've already seen this show, this may seem obvious, but I'm missing something right now. I'm weirded it's out. I'm not getting how it. Weak they are. They even oh, they different the people. Dark. And how do they handle this fear? They simply pretend that it doesn't exist. They run away from it. How could anyone say humans aren't weak? What? They look. They look the same. Is this like inner dialogue? What's going on here? Yeah. This episode seems so long ago. I feel like so much has already happened since then. I mean, cause it has, 
but they're here throwing flashbacks at me and I'm just, I'm confused about a lot of things right now. <laughs> the ore, these endless uprisings. Oh, are they gonna find out stone, what he knew? Human sacrifices and the outright genocide of the Ishvalan people. And this means, how could this even what happen? Mean, and who could have orchestrated is... something as terrible as people to form a giant transmutation circle? And your hope is that the end result will be the creation of a but philosopher's stone. But Emily said not stone. quite. Am I wrong? She said that he was close, but not quite. You've always known about their plans, haven't you? Well, Hohenheim, why have you kept quiet about it? Tell me, damn it! Even if I'd spoken up, warned them, it wouldn't have changed anything. <sighs> I've watched humanity for a long time now. And all I've seen them do is endlessly repeat the same mistakes. They either run away or they roll over. <laughs> What the hell? They're so fragile. How can they not break? This episode's tripping me out. <laughs> Humans are defenseless. They don't have an ultimate spear, nor an ultimate shield. It's no use. I don't get it. Is that him? It has to be him. And who the heck is that? Through hell. But it doesn't matter. Nothing they can do will make us give up. What the and hell is she talking win. about? You're just wearing yourselves out. Well, the only way we're gonna find out is if we try. It's better than just lying down and accepting it. You really don't care? You're fine with losing Ed and Al and everyone else you know? You're really getting worked up over <sighs> this, aren't you? So they're... Don't kid yourself into thinking you can help any the of them. You know that they're going to wind up dead no matter what you do. Take whatever is important to you and run away as far as you possibly can. What? Yes, he told her that. You act like you have a conscience. He told her that when he but went to visit them. Isn't that right, Hohenheim? Uh, what? I'm so you confused. You think you can change things? <laughs> you honestly believe one act of caring will make you human? <laughs> what is this? Like some evil version of Hohenheim? How like, look at your oh own gosh, that's disgusting. <laughs> He's fighting some internal Humans battle. Are nothing but I a mean... resource, and if we don't use them, they'll spread like weeds. They will always be weak and frightened creatures. We will change. Because we can change. I know it. We may be weak. That's the, we the wife, right? Be. The mother? If not, Trisha? then we wouldn't have any reason to grow, to get strong. I know that it may seem futile to you, but it's not. Because we are getting stronger with every step we take. They're gonna throw this scene at me again. Now come back! Just you wait! You see, I'm sure we can change. Because we're weak. And because we die. We have to fight in order to live. And that's what will make us strong. And if that's not enough, if you're still not convinced that we can change, then think about us. All of the days we spent with our family in Risenwolf. Aww. <laughs> I was sure. So she just aged badly? <laughs> Why does she look the way she does now? It's so off. Oh, so it was a dream. Thanks for all. 
all the help. Okay. So this episode just left me super more confused. <laughs> I mean, clearly I'm I'm speechless. I'm just confused. I don't know what to really say. I mean, I think the Okay. Panako. What's with that? Like he's talking to her, but she looks super duper young clearly compared to what she looks now. So is this like a super young version of like when they used to hang out and be drinking buddies and him like having like, you know, he's having this dream and then, but then he's imagining his wife as a child. I mean, the girl that was asking for him to dance, that was a child, that was Trisha, right? And then he imagined her like more like teenager or young adult and then her and like how she was before she died. And then the father, was like the evil version of him. So he's having like this internal conflict. But they're the same person, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't freaking know. I think it was just like, I guess some inner dialogue going on with him. I don't know. I'm gonna quit trying to even guess and figure it out because I sound more stupid the more I keep talking. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Please no spoilers. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you for the next one.